So what I'm going to show you today is how we would take a template um, in order to make a, a permanent insole or even a temporary insole um, from a patient's shoe. So the first thing we need to do is to assess the footwear, check that the, sh the, the, the shoe is correct. You won't need to do that for your OSCE station. However, if you're taking it in clinic, then that's something you need to make sure um, is, is actually a good fit. You need to see rigidity, heel counter, flexibility, forefoot, and rigidity, midfoot. Um, shoes good, you're ready to go for an insole, fantastic. Most shoes will have an inlay within them that will come out, and you are most welcome to draw around that inlay in order to take the template. You cut it out, and then you place it back in the shoe. However, for your Oski, that's not going to be provided. That's going to be taken away. So we throw that away, that's gone, and then you've just got your shoe. How then would you take a template for the shoe? You place it onto the piece of cardboard and you draw around the trainer, keeping the pen completely vertical. So you go all the way around the shoe and as you can see, it's quite wide. You need to gauge then where the inlay comes in and how extra wide the trainer is. And it's a good centimeter on both sides with this trainer. So I cut then, around the template, approximately a centimetre in, all the way around. Okay, so that's done. You then place the template inside the shoe, push it all the way to the front and push it down and fits perfectly all the way to the end and all the way to the end of the heel. I can see, however, inside the trainer that the heel is slightly wide. So I just need to trim that down, trim that down slightly, and then that fits perfectly. So we have the right size template with regards to the length and the width for the trainer. Okay, so what we need to do, and in a, scenario, a real case scenario, you would mark the foot on the patient you would then spray the template with some chlorhexidine very lightly, place it back in the shoe and ask the patient to step into the trainer. Those marks, pen marks, would then actually imprint onto the template. However, for your OSCE station, what we would like you to do is to gauge approximately where those marks are going to be. So which marks are we going to be looking at? You're going to be looking at the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth metatarsal heads. Okay, You're going to be looking at the styloid process, which just sits here. You're going to be looking at the medial tubercle of the calcaneus, which is quite far back. And also, you'll be looking at the talonavicular joint. Okay, So approximately, where do they sit on the template? Go to the widest point of the inlay, which sits about here. And just half a centimetre below, approximately, will be the first metatarsal head. You then go about a centimetre and a half width space, and you'll find the second met. The second met generally sits slightly higher than the first. We're looking at the metatarsal parabola, which goes in a curve. Normally, the metatarsal parabola would be 2, 1, 3, 4, 5. Or it could be 2, 3, 1, 4, 5. Okay. But you do 1, 2, and then you go downwards again, about a centimetre and a half, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You've got your metatarsal heads marked. What you then need to do is to look at the medial tubercle of the calcaneus. As you can see, that sits right there. So it's right here. Go in line with the template and it's approximately there. That's your medial tubercle of the calcaneus. Taylor navicular, on a patient you would palpate by placing your thumb across the medial border and as you come to a bony notch, that's normally the navicular. Just behind that would be the Taylor navicular and it sits just there. It sits lower then the styloid process, which sits on the opposite side, again about a centimetre higher on the lateral border. There you have your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points. 
that you need for your template. What I would like you to do for your OSCE is to mark them as first met, second met, so forth, styloid process on the lateral side. Talo navicular joint and medial tubicle of calc. That's what you need to do for your OSCE stations. Just mark that with your name and number and then leave it for me to pick up. If you're having trouble finding or locating the first, another method that you can use is by placing the inlay back into the trainer, pushing it there, and then flexing the forefoot of the trainer. Where the crease sits normally will be just above the first met. Yeah, so it's just below that. Okay, I find it a little bit higher when you do that in shoe. Centimetre, centimetre and a half below is your first met. 